Sat back with top Indian opposition leader Rahul Gandhi after High Court rejected an appeal to suspend his conviction for defamation. This interim order means he will not be allowed to either return to parliament or suspend his two-year jail term. Mr Gandhi was convicted in March for insulting Prime Minister Narendra Modi and those sharing his surname Modi during a rally in 2019. It's a charge that critics say was politically motivated. The ruling Bharatiya Janata Party has dismissed the allegations. And let's us speak now to Nia Ponya joining us live from New Delhi. Anya, what does this setback mean for Mr Gandhi's political career? Well, the Congress Party, um, it held a press conference earlier in the day and they've said they're going to fight this setback. They're going to take their appeal to the Indian Supreme Court, which would be Mr. Gandhi's last available legal option. He's had two setbacks already with a lower court and on Friday, the Gujarat the High Court dismissing his appeal to, overstay, uh, to overturn or stay his uh, conviction. Uh, but the Congress is saying they're confident that they will get justice from the Supreme court, but they haven't from um, courts in Gujarat, which they allege are uh, working in the directions of the ruling BJP, because it is Prime Minister Modi's uh, home state. It's a charge the ruling BJP has denied. Uh, but the Congress claims that uh, while it is, uh, it is disappointing to have had this setback, it's not entirely unexpected. They're claiming this is a conspiracy to target Mr. Gandhi, who they allege is the only opposition leader who is taking on Prime Minister Modi, who is uh, uh, choosing to speak freely um, and they're saying this is why these defamation cases have been leveled against him and um He's not getting any relief from the courts, even though the precedent in previous cases shows that a bail uh, or, an, uh, or a conviction being overturned is the normal route for courts to follow. Uh, but what this does mean is that Rahul Gandhi's suspension as member of parliament from the Vayanad seat continues. Um, there are concerns within the Congress party that the election commission could also hold by-elections to that seat, which means that he could lose his position as a member of parliament entirely, and it complicates matters because... Um if the Supreme Court does not stay that conviction, uh, he will be barred from contesting elections for six years and um, will also be required to serve that two-year jail term, which is the maximum possible punishment you can get in a criminal defamation case in India. And eight years is a long time in politics. It's nearly two full terms for any uh, government in power. And that's the worry uh, for the Congress party. They need to act quickly and they need to hope that the Supreme Court will side with Mr. Gandhi. So this has an immediate impact on the Congress party itself, but does it cast any other sort of shadow on any other parties during elections next year. Well, it certainly uh, hastened attempts to build together an anti-BJP coalition. In the past, we've seen similar talks being held, for example, in the run-up to the 2019 elections, but those talks weren't successful with uh, uh, various political parties failing to see eye to eye. But in the last few months, we have seen significant movement on that front. Uh, the worry is that with Mr. Gandhi's uh, conviction, and if he is ruled out uh, from next year's elections, the opposition parties will have to work together to defeat Prime Minister Modi, who still remains the most popular leader in the country. In fact, we will see the parties hold another meeting next week as well. Uh, they're trying to figure out who's going to represent them. But for the Congress as well, uh, it does weaken their hand at bargaining because Rahul Gandhi might not be the chief of the Congress party, but he is their most uh, uh, recognisable face. Oh, thanks so much. Nihal Pony reporting live to us there from New Delhi.